Hey guys, it's Emily Sue 2708 here. Um, my friend Kate is videotaping me. Say hi, What's Kate. up? And people have been asking me on you now to rap. Here I go. Don't judge me, please. I love you all. Thank you so much. Hurry up. Oh, God. This is going to be awesome and off the chain. <laughs> I love you, Kate. <laughs> no homo. We're sisters. Yeah, no homo peoples. Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date? Better you had to make love, she wanted you to wait. Let me tell you a story of my situation. I was talking to this girl from the U.S. nation. The way that I met her, I was on a tour at a concert. She had real long hair and a short mini skirt. Just got off the stage, dripping and pouring with sweat. We walked in the crowd, and guess who I met? I, I whispered in the ear, come to the picture booth, so I can ask you some questions to see if you're hundred proof. I asked her her name, she said blah blah blah. She had blue pants and a very big bra. I took a couple of flicks and she was in food. I said, how do you like the show? She said I was very amused. I started throwing baits, she started throwing it back mid-range. But when I sprung the question, she acted kind of strange. Because when I asked, do you have a man? She tried not to pretend, she said, no, I don't. Have a a friend. Come on. Let's sing. You, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. You gotta do me next. You nice. say he's just a friend. Maybe you, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Got what I need, but you say he's just a friend, and you say he's just a friend. So I took Blabba's word for it, and at the time, I said having a friend couldn't be no crime. Cause I have friends, and that's a fact, like any son of NFL, Jeremiah and Jack. Forgot about that, let's go on to the story, about a girl and blah 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 that adored me. So I started talking to her, getting familiar, spending a lot of time so we can build a relationship. Something I'm standing has going to be in the future that we're planning. Everything sounded so dandy and sweet. I had no idea I was in for a treat. I just established everything was cool. The score is over and I should head back to school. I called every day just to see how she was doing. Every time I called her, it seemed something was brewing. I called her room, a guy picked up and called again. I said, yo, who was that? Oh, he's just a friend. Who is that? You got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. You say he's just a friend. Baby, you. Got what I need, but you say he's just a friend, but you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you got what I need, but you say he's just a friend, but you say he's just a friend. So I came to her college on a surprise visit to see my baby girl that was so exquisite. It was a school day. I told you she was there the first semester of the school year. I went to the gate to ask where her dorm was. The guy made me fill out a visitor's form. He told me where it was. I was on my way to see my baby doll. I was happy to say. I arrived in front of the dormitory. Could you tell me where it is dorm three? They showed me where it was for the moment I didn't know. That's because it's meant. So I came to the room and opened the door. Oh, snap! Guess what I saw? I felt a tongue kissing my girl in the mouth. Shock, my heart went down south. So please listen to the message that I say. Don't ever talk to a girl. She said she just has a friend. Thanks, guys. Let me know what, what, what you thought. Um, I'll try to do more. Kate, show my score. I gotta go. That's my mom. I love you guys. Bye.